Hey fam, welcome back. In today's video, we are gonna be unboxing my BoxyCharm Premium and BoxyCharm Lux for the month of June, 2021. So if you were interested to see what I got in my boxes this month, go ahead and stay tuned. We're gonna get into it right now. So let's go ahead and start with my premium box. The first thing I noticed about the premium this month is how teeny, teeny, tiny it is. Very unusual, but good things come in little packages and it's what's on the inside that counts. So let's go ahead and see what I got sent in my premium box this month. So here's my card for the premium box. The theme this month is Dare to Dazzle. And here is a little sneak peek. So our first product is from the brand Skin Regime. This is the 1.85 HA Booster. It is a hydro plumping concentrate. This is a hydrating serum with a concentrate of three forms of hyaluronic acid, micro, macro, and cross-linked to infuse the skin, lock in moisture at various levels, and restore optimal levels of hydration. If you are not new here, you know this girl has dry skin. So hearing that this is a hydrating formula makes me really excited. I'm almost out of my Farsali Glass Skin Serum, so I think I may put this in my Shop My Stash for the next round as soon as I run out of that product. I'm really excited to see a serum in the box, especially when it's supposed to plump the skin and also aid with hydration. According to the card, this is a very pricey product at $150. $15. That is just crazy. And I'm hoping that at that cost, it does some really amazing things for my skin. The next product in my premium box is this one from Lorac. This is the Alter Ego Lip Liner, and I got mine in the shade Jet Setter. This lip liner is supposed to prevent color from bleeding, feathering, and fading. Now, while this raspberry pink shade is not one that I would typically reach for very often, I think it is handy to have lip liners for looks like this because I definitely have a few lipsticks in shades like this or maybe lip glosses. I've never tried a lip liner from Lorac, but I do really love their lipsticks and lip glosses. So I have a feeling I may like the formula of this liner as well. This is what the component looks like. It is a really pretty like violet, raspberry, pinky purple shade. I definitely have some Marc Jacob glosses in this tone. So I'm actually really excited to have received this lip liner. I'm excited to try a lip liner from Lorac and I'm happy that it's in a color that I know I can use. The next product in my box is this one from My Pillum or May Pillum. I believe it's pronounced. This is just called eye cream. It's got quinoa and vitamin C. I've never heard of quinoa in an eye cream before. And it says it has coriander seed and marjoram. So it says it has quinoa extract, colloidal oats, and vitamin C, all of which work to reduce dark circles, puffiness, and fine lines. I am thrilled to hear that because I absolutely have very dark circles under my eyes. I do struggle with fine lines and I could absolutely use plumping. So I have a feeling I might like this little eye cream. My eye cream from my current shop, my sash is literally almost gone. I have to really fight it to get the littlest bit of product out. So I'm so happy to have received an eye cream. While I have a lot of serums, facial moisturizers, masks, and all sorts of things like that, I don't have a ton of eye cream. So actually I feel really blessed to have received this in my box this month. I haven't heard of this brand before, but the claims it has are definitely concerns I have for my under eyes. I can't wait to give this a try. The next product I see in my box is this one from Floss. I have received lip glosses from Floss in the past in my Allure Beauty box, but I have never tried any other products from this brand. This is the Concierge Cheek and Lip Tint, and it's in the shade Sandals, which is very summer themed. I like that. This is what the component looks like. It does twist apart to reveal this multi-stick that can be used on both your cheeks as well as your lips. I wonder if this could be used on eyes as well. It doesn't say that. It does say lip and cheek but often these products can be used for all three. If you wanted to do a cream monochromatic look, I'm actually really excited to try this. I really love cream cheek products. I feel like this would travel really well, both because it's got this twist lid, so you know this is not gonna come apart in your travel bag, and the fact that it can be used for lips and cheeks makes it a really convenient product to have. So I'm actually super excited. I always love receiving cream cheek products and I'm excited to try something else from the Floss brand. And then the last two products in my premium box are the two most exciting products. The first is this Marc Jacobs At Lashed Mascara. This was a choice product for my premium box. The last two were both my choice products. And they would either send the At Lashed or the Velvet Noir. Now the Velvet Noir by Marc Jacobs is absolutely one of my favorite mascaras and I've heard fantastic things about the At Lashed. I ordered a Velvet Noir from Pop-Up, one or two. I think I might have ordered one in Pop-Up. So I was really hoping I would get the At Lashed in my box because I've never tried this one before. I have a mini backup of the Velvet Noir, but I've never had a full size. So I am so excited to receive that from Pop-Up and I'm so thrilled to get the At Lashed in my box so I can try both formulas. I've heard fantastic things about both of these mascaras and I'm so excited to finally have them. And then the last product in my premium box was my other choice product. This is the Natasha Denona transform matte pore vanishing matte foundation when this was first announced as an option for choice i did watch a couple reviews because i do have dry skin i don't tend towards matte products but the people that i 
saw with dry skin try this product, really loved it. I also saw my girl Liz post about this on Instagram and she mixed this with the Elemis Rose Facial Oil, which I actually have from Boxy in my skincare cabinet. And she looked so gorgeous with this combination. And I told her, I was like, girl, I am so excited. I'm expecting this in my Boxy charm. I have that Elemis Rose Facial Oil. I cannot wait to do that combination. She looked exquisite. Definitely check out her Instagram and you'll see what I'm talking about. I've really heard some good things. I'm so excited to try this product. I did watch a bunch of unboxings for Boxy this month and I was a little nervous. A lot of people weren't that happy with their boxes this month and I was like, uh oh, here we go. It's gonna be an off month. But to be honest, I really am pretty thrilled with the things I got this month in my premium box, which is exciting. Premium has been a bit hit or miss for me lately, but to be honest, I'm actually really excited for the products that I received this month. I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm super excited they got the variation of the Marc Jacobs mascara. I can't wait to try the Natasha Denona foundation. I'm happy to get an eye cream. I'm excited to get a serum whose claims really address skincare concerns I legitimately have. The liner was a fun color from Lorac. And I'm excited to try a multi-stick from Floss. I really have been so into cream face products. So I think overall premium was a hit this month. Let's go over some prices. So the Marc Jacobs Beauty At Lash Lengthening and Curling Mascara retails for $27. The Natasha Denona Transform Matte Foundation retails for $45. We already talked about this little guy. The Skin Regime 1.85 HA Booster retails for $115. The May Pillum Eye Cream with Vitamin C and Quinoa Extract retails for $39. The Lorac Alter Ego Lip Liner retails for $17. And the Floss Beauty the concierge cheek and lip tint retails for $22. Overall, I'm super excited with my premium box this month. I got four makeup products and two skincare, which is a combination I can get behind. I am definitely more of a fan of makeup, but skincare is so expensive and so important. I'm always happy to get it in my box. I just don't like when my box is like all skincare. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the premium this month. Let's get into Lux. So here is my Lux box. It is also a little bit smaller than I'm used to, but that's totally fine. Let's go ahead and see what's inside. So again, we have our card with the Dare to Dazzle theme for this month. And here is a little sneak peek into the box. The first product that I see is actually one of my choices for this month, and it is this fantastic little pouch from Moxie Lash. If you're new to my channel, I love Moxie Lash. I have been collecting their lashes since 2019. I've done three videos on this brand, and I absolutely love their products. So this is a kit from Moxie Lash. It comes in this mesh makeup case, and then inside we have little cleansing swabs. These are pre-moistened olive and castor oil cotton swabs. They actually help you to remove the liner off of your lashes, and I think they can also be used to clean the lashes themselves. So definitely a handy product to have. It also comes with a mini version of their magnetic liner. The one that I have in this size is absolutely drying up, so I'm so excited to get a new one. And it also comes with a beautiful lash set. This is their sassy lash style, and these are absolutely beautiful. Moxie lash are so easy to use. You just apply the magnetic liner first, and then there are five magnets on each lash. You can just place it on your eye. You can shift it, move it, take it off, put it back on. It's so nice and easy. You just let the liner dry, and they snap right on. They're super comfortable, and I love this brand. Their lashes are such high quality. They're such beautiful shapes. I am so thrilled to get another sassy lash. And then the case is also really great for travel as well. The next product I see in my Lux box is another exciting product. This is from Elemis. This is the Superfood AHA Glow Cleansing Butter. I'm so excited to get this. I have a couple cleansing bombs, maybe like two or three, but I think all of the ones I have are fairly small. This guy is a nice big daddy size. I am so thrilled to get this. I love the brand Elemis. I found their skincare to be very helpful so far. I've really enjoyed the products that I've tried from this brand and I cannot wait to try this cleansing butter. Cleansing butters and bombs are great as a first step to getting your makeup off and then to go back in and wash your face. It helps to break down all the makeup and make it easier to remove. I'm so thrilled to get this. I can't wait to try it. And I'm so happy I got this in my Luxe box. The next product I see is this one from Avant. This is the Hyaluronic Acid Replenishing Lip Serum. Yes, please. My lips are definitely on the dry side. I do so much to try to moisturize them and keep them hydrated. Hyaluronic acid absolutely helps keep moisture in your skin and I imagine in your lips. And I love that this is a replenishing lip serum. I've never tried a lip serum before, at least that I can recall. And I've loved everything I've tried from Avant. This brand is super expensive. So anytime I can get it in a subscription box, I am over the moon happy. The component itself is kind of like a lip gloss. It comes with a little doe foot applicator and there are 8.5 milliliters or 0.29 fluid ounces in here. I can't wait to try it. I'm so excited. I love getting Avant products. I love trying new Avant products and I'm so thrilled to see this in my Luxe box. The next product I see is this one from Earth Harbor. This is the Sunstone Hair Revive Elixir. This is supposed to fortify, nourish, and revive dull or damaged hair using superfood nutrition of seaweed and coconuts, anti-pollution properties of jasmine and calendula flowers, 
and ultra rejuvenation of carrot seed and jojoba oil. I love jojoba oil. This can be used as a scalp treatment or can also be used to help rejuvenate your ends and hair strands themselves. This can be applied and then washed out, but for best use it says to leave it in. I definitely struggle with my hair being dry. It's so long that often the ends are really dry and I definitely put a lot of argan oil in my hair. I'm really excited to receive a hair treatment. I've never tried one from this brand. I have tried facial serums from Earth Harbor, but I've never tried a hair product from this brand. So I'm very excited to give this a try. I definitely have hair concerns that I think this could definitely help with. And I hope I can see some real improvement in my hair as a result of using this product. The next one I see is this product by Dr. Brandt. This is the hashtag say I love you triple antioxidant face cream. It's supposed to visibly smooth wrinkles and helps prevent signs of aging. Yes, please. Dr. Brandt created this packaging for Pride Month. Happy Pride Month. And the claims of this product really sound like they will address skincare concerns I absolutely have. So I'm really excited to try this. I've tried a facial cleanser from Dr. Brandt and I really did like it. It did dry out my skin a little bit, but it was supposed to help purify pores. And I found that that product absolutely did what it claimed to do. So I'm very excited to test the claims of this facial moisturizer and I hope it can help my skin. I love this beautiful Pride packaging. I cannot wait to try this product. The next product, I will actually be putting in my next giveaway, which is always exciting to share with you guys. And that is this NARS blush in the shade Orgasm. I love this blush, but I actually already have this product. It is so beloved in my collection and I hope it can be beloved in one of yours. I'm so happy to be able to give this back to one of you guys and I cannot wait to add this to the next giveaway. This is what this blush looks like. It is a peachy pink with like a gold reflect. It's very beautiful. It's such a cult classic, very popular product. And I'm so excited to be able to share this with one of you. The next product in my box is this one from AMNH. This is the Starry Collagen Gel Eye Pads and there are five packs in this box. I think under eye pads are so helpful to help hydrate your under eyes. I definitely deal with dry skin. I definitely deal with aging. I definitely deal with fine lines. So if this can help me, I am thrilled. The packaging is so cute. And to get five eye pads to try is really exciting. With skincare, I think it's more so like tested over time to see if it works. So the fact that you get multiple masks in this box is fantastic. You get a chance to really try this product to see if it's something that you love. And I think that's great. And the last item in my box is this one from Benefit. This is the Brow Styler. Mine is in the shade Neutral Deep Brown 4.5. Go BoxyCharm, get my right color. I'm so excited. This product does come with a thicker pencil on one end, and then it has a like powder shadow wand on the other end. The pencil is a waterproof wax pencil. And then the other side is a brush applicator with like loose powder to set your brows. I've never tried a product like this before, but Benefit knocks it out of the park when it comes to brows. So I'm really excited to see what I can do with this. I'm sure it'll come with a little bit of a learning curve, but I like to learn and I love to play with makeup. So I'm really excited to try this product. So overall, my Lux box, while it was a little bit more skincare heavy than makeup heavy, I still think we got a really good variety of products. We had some exciting brands this month. We did some exciting products. I was super thrilled to have a product to put in my next giveaway. That's always so much fun. And I think overall the variety was really good. I think I had kind of set my expectations a little low for this month after seeing so many unboxings, but I'm actually really pleasantly surprised at how happy I am to receive these products. I think they did a really good job looking at my survey and listening to my preferences, and I always appreciate that. I really love both of my boxes this month, which is a great feeling. Now let's go over some prices. So first we had the Elemis Superfood AHA Glow Cleansing Butter. This retails for $38 and it is a new launch. That's also really exciting to get a brand new product in the box. The NARS Blush in the shade Orgasm, which will be going to one of y'all, retails for $30. The Benefit Cosmetics Brow Styler Eyebrow Pencil and Powder Duo retails for $34. That is a pretty penny, but you do get two products in one. The Avon Skincare Hyaluronic Acid Replenishing Lip Serum retails for a whopping $122. Avon is always over the top with their retail price, but these products have climbed to the top of my loves list. I really, really have loved the Avon products I've tried thus far. I'm so excited to give this one a try. I have a feeling I'm gonna love it and I can't wait to see what it can do for my lips. Our Moxie Lash Sassy Lux Bundle, which comes with four products from Moxie Lash. And this retails for $90, my goodness. I believe it though, because I bought every single Moxie Lash I own and they are expensive. The Earth Harbor Sunstone Hair Revive Elixir retails for $30. The Dr. Brandt Triple Antioxidant Face Cream retails for $64. And this is a new launch as well. So we got two new launches this month. That's really exciting. And then lastly, our AMNH Skincare Starry Collagen Gel iPads retail for $32. This was a really high value box this month. I would love to hear what you guys thought of the products that I received this month. Did you like premium better? Did you like Lux better? Did you like them both? Did you like neither? I'd love to hear Hear all your thoughts in the comments down below. I thank you all so much for being here with me today. I love you all so much. And until the next video, bye.